Excuse me. Hi. You look so gorgeous. Can I have your number? What? Can I have your number? Excuse me. Can I have your number? I only need the, the number. You, you are so For what? Number ya nini? Why do you need my number? Because you're so cute. Yeah, I'm cute, I know. Type, excuse me, you have my number. Excuse me, that I'm Nanga Dab. What's wrong with you? Oh, okay, calm down. Anyway, I'm pretty Nico sure. You're busy, Allah. I'm pretty sure 90% of your beauty can be removed by a blue one. The Afro Invisible Hole. It's a honey naked Zenishba. I will keep poor. Don't listen to what women say, like, do the opposite. And it sounds strange when women um, hear things that we're saying about them because they get really defensive. But we, me and Jordan figured out a long time ago, don't listen to what women say, yeah? Look at, look at what they respond to. If a girl really likes you, she doesn't care if you're eating steak or corn dogs. She'll meet you anywhere. Do, she'll do coffee. She'll do a walk in the park, man. She wants your time. So um, if, if you have a girl that you're messaging, let's say on social media or something like that, and she won't meet you just for a simple ass coffee, then she doesn't like you, bro. Oh, when is the new EP coming out? Coming out literally in one week, you know. Come on, man. You don't know better than that as a cool person. Come on, man. The majority of women are getting fucked by the same few top tier guys. The guys in the top 10% of men. The wealthy guys who are in shape, who are very confident, and who have this masculine, stoic personality which is so attractive to women. They're sleeping with most girls. And you might think that this is a bit too far, right? No. There's been studies done on dating apps like Tinder, Bumble, which have shown that the majority of women actually left swipe almost every guy. But the guy that they do right swipe on is pretty much the same. I'm 95 years old. You're 95 that's years right. old. You that's look right. good for 95. Man. That's because I don't run behind big asses and titties. That'll kill you. Y'all young men, y'all be screwing all these hoes out here. That's why y'all come up with arthritis and rheumatism. Your eyesight go bad. Your hair starts coming out. When you are uh, 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 over fuck yourself, you bring arthritis on your skin. Every time you drop that seed in her, yeah. your bone marrow and all that stuff from your head to your toe goes inside of her. And when you have intercourse with your girlfriend, who always falls asleep first? The uh, man. Yeah, I follow. And then when you wake up, she done stole your wallet, stole your car keys. She going about her business. Yeah, I got to get that shit back. Well, 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 you better kill her then. You got, you got to eat right. Eat Stay right. away from McDonald's and Burger King. Don't drink sodas. No soda, no pussy, no McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the biggest, you can eat. But stay away from that pussy. If you ain't gonna marry that woman, don't stick your dick up in her. No. You don't know what disease she got. No, and now all the women got coronavirus. Yeah, I they have got that corona. Yeah, oh hell that yeah, that corona. Pussy. Don't stick your, your your little two inch dick in every asshole. Uh, men are only good guys to then get into women's panties, and then when they get into the panties, they're no longer good guys. <laughs> I'd rather pay a prostitute so she leaves when we're done rather than sit here and put a bunch of money into a chick and then taking her out for nice dinners, buying her shit, and you get the same result in the end anyway. She's still paying for pussy. What was the reason for your last breakup? He cheated on me with a prostitute, a baby mama, and he stole $800 from me. I paid his rent. I paid for everything. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. I would tell more young men to do this. Keep your head down and eat crap until you're 30. Get out there, fail, try some things. Spend about 5 to 10% of your time dating and all that kind of stuff. I don't expect you to be a monk. Relationships, love and all that stuff, it may not sound nice, will come later. You really need to know if you can work with this person long term because we're messy, complex people. And we have to have a higher tolerance for failure. It's not that men don't want to be with women, they just don't want to lose it. Smart people learn from other people's mistakes. Fools learn from their own. I'm ashamed that I did porn. I'm proud of myself and what I've done and, and I wouldn't take anything back. However, it's not like I, I like the idea that people can view that of me. I personally, those videos make me want to throw up. It doesn't matter, you know, what people think. Like, you could be any kind of person and inspire somebody or help somebody or, or whatever. The coyotes howl and the caravan keeps moving. <laughs> Meaning, like, who gives a shit what they say? They look at you and they're like, man, look at this life she had in, in the adult film industry. Look at what she's done in social. And they probably look at you as a source of inspiration. And maybe they mm -hmm. think following a similar path is going to get them there. And I think you talking like this so openly. Yeah, it's cool. It's helping yeah. probably a lot of people, maybe people we never even know, yeah, right? Like well, they hear your story. You're doing now this thing with Playboy that's going to help. If you can just help one person, it, it really does matter. I don't care anymore. I'm extremely happy with myself. I know. He's a 10, Okay. but he has an Android phone. What's his new rating? 
It's a zero. Our pictures for Instagram are gonna be terrible. You can tell just by a picture if it's an Android. The saturation is crazy. That's a no for me. Can't even put that through Visco. Still a ten. Definitely still a ten. Because I think a phone's just a phone. So whatever phone he uses, it's it shouldn't really rate his scale, you know, or I guess degrade him. Mm, two. Because like, are you broke? Like, how can you not afford an Apple? I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry, like, you just can't deal with me, no. Gentlemen, this video clearly shows you that a woman can dismiss you for anything. Like, she, she's, some women are dropping points for a guy who has an Android phone. Another woman has just said in the clip, like, why, why can't you afford an iPhone? Are you poor? So this is just like a, an, an example to show you that women will dismiss you for anything. Because women are always looking to disqualify men. A woman will be like, he's tall, but he's broke. Maybe he's, he's, he's good looking, but he's fat. Or maybe he doesn't have a beard, or maybe he doesn't drive the right car, doesn't live in the right neighborhood, doesn't earn the correct amount of money. Some will even dismiss you for having a small penis. So guys, this is just another thing, like another more reason to focus on yourself, focus on networking. Focus on your businesses, focus on your side hustle, focus on your mental health. Leave these women alone. They, they do, most of them don't even know what they want. And some of them even get what they want and they still don't know what to do with it. And remember, it's just your turn. Most of these women will leave you because hypergamy. Hypergamy women are always looking to date up. You are the best she can do right now, but trust and believe when something else comes along, she will leave you. So yeah, you may have an Android phone, an Android phone. You get a, you go get an iPhone, and she will still leave you, because that's just how women operate and behave. So don't take them seriously. Just remember, it's your turn. Enjoy. It's just your turn. Enjoy the people, the moments, and the experiences. And remember, it's just your turn. Don't take these women seriously because they are not taking you seriously because they are only selfish and thinking of themselves. If men are worse at communication, why do so many women expect men to read their body language rather than just be direct? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. Are men expected to be mind readers? Yes. Yes. So what the... Is there a difference between what women say that they want in a relationship and what they actually respond to? Yes. Absolutely. If so, how are women better at communication? But you, there you go. You just said that they were. I lied. Clearly, I'm respect to men is love. Like men don't feel loved if they don't feel respected. And and your job as a woman is to make them look good. And this goes back to does it look good to a guy to have his girl hugging the whole football team, hugging the whole. What's owned by you but used more by other people? Vagina. Listen, 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 let me say one thing, yeah? I do not have sympathy for you chicks, yeah? When you get old, you hit the wall, and now you start complaining, oh, where has all the good men gone? Bruv, you had the good men, they're in your friend zone, in your best years, bro. Yeah? When you're chasing Chad and Tyrone, like my boy said, Chad and Tyrone, yeah? Yeah? You're smashing guys like China and King Riches. Bruv, it's your fault, bro. Yeah? And then, like, at the end of the day, bruv, you, it's on you, bro. You're adult, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? One drunk man is more intelligent than three women with PhDs. Thank you so much. That's um, a, thank, thank you so much. That's thank you so much. That's um, Mr. Sh what is your plan B if nobody marries you? Men are typically expected to court women, approach women, ask them out on dates, maybe pick them up, pay for dates, make the first move, etc. What are women expected to do to build a relationship? So I'm talking about that initial stage. What are women expected to do? Wait, so are we, are we, are we saying that like... Are we saying that like... <laughs> Like, he takes you on a date. Like. No, he's, like, so, like, when you're, like, let's say, like, the first date, like, usually on a first date, like, a guy picks you up, like, he takes you there, and he's, like, expected to pay, but, like, what are, like, you expected to do, kind of, like, in these, like, dating, like, you're scenarios? Just be yourself. Bring good conversation. Be yourself, like, like, are you expected to, to impress him? Do you want to do a party trick? I don't know. I feel like Guys, if your lady never wears makeup in front of you and is constantly walking around in sweatpants, but when she goes out on a girl's night, she dresses to the nines. She's for the streets. 